Welcome back EFD squad where this week we are celebrating the return of Spanish football by showing you 10 La Liga stars you should be watching. Now we know how good players like Messi and Benzema are, so here are 10 lesser known stars who were crushing it before the shutdown. 10. Oscar Rodriguez if there is one team in the Liga who deserve to feel sorry for themselves, it's Leganes. After spending most of their time in the relegation zone, Los Pepineros were helplessly raided mid-season. Moroccan forward Yusuf N. Nasiri was pinched by Sevilla for 25 million euros, but worse was to come. With their attack depleted, Leganes had to watch on in horror when, on February the 20th, Barcelona activated Martin Braithwaite's release clause in a move sanctioned by the Spanish Football Federation, who promptly refused to let them replace their top scorer. Any hopes of survival have been left on the shoulders of Real Madrid loanee Oscar Rodriguez. The 21-year-old attacking midfielder has been forced to step up to the plate since Braithwaite's departure. He registered an assist to bring Leganes level in a 1-1 draw with Deportivo Alaves before scoring twice in a stunning 2-1 win away at Villarreal taking him to seven goals and two assists for the season. Rodriguez has helped the Cucumber Growers cling on to Celta Vigo in 17th, while this could be his moment to impress the hierarchy at Real Madrid. If he can continue where he left off, a possible career at the Bernabeu lies in wait. 9. Mohamed Salasu Mohamed Salasu has started making regular appearances in Euro Transfer Talk, and for good reason. The Real Valladolid centre-back is being tipped for a big future, after impressing for the Pusella all year. Standing just under 6 foot 3, no player in the Liga has made more than his 218 clearances all season, while he ranks 6th for tackles completed by centre-backs. Not bad, especially considering the 21-year-old was only promoted to the main squad in July 2018. Since then, Salasu has been an ever-present in their starting 11, ranking third for minutes played alongside club captain Kiko Olivas at the heart of defence. Unsurprisingly, his rise to prominence has caught the attention of a number of suitors. The Ghanaian has received a ton of interest from a number of English sides, including Wolves, Southampton and even Manchester United. And with a reported release clause of just 12 million euros, a transfer away from the Jose Zarilla looks almost certain. Valladolid aren't giving up hope of holding onto their star, but it looks increasingly likely the next 11 games will be Salasu's last in the white and violet shirt. 8. Ferran Torres Valencia winger Ferran Torres has finally announced himself to world football with 6 goals and 7 assists in all competitions this year. The youngster has dazzled defences with his trickery and two-footed ability, capable of commanding either flank when running with the ball. In fact, no starting member of the Valencia squad comes close to his 2.2 successful dribbles per 90. If the bats are going to push on and reach the top four this season, his attacking threat will be vital. Annoyingly for Valencia fans, this could be his last spell at the club. Torres has attracted a vast amount of interest from across the continent, with Juventus, Borussia Dortmund and Atletico Madrid all following his progress. But the biggest threat could come from Manchester City, with Guardiola even listing Torres as a potential replacement for Leroy Sane should the German leave. Valencia's problem is that Torres' current deal expires in June 2021, and while it contains a massive 100 million euro release clause, that could prove irrelevant if they can't get him to extend forcing them to accept a lower offer soon or risk losing him for free. Torres may have committed himself to La Liga in the press, but in football, money talks, and no one speaks louder than the Premier League. 7. Andre Frank Zambu and Gisa Fulham fans must be wondering how on earth Zambu and Gisa has been so impressive for Villarreal. The Cameroonian was part of the Cottage's catastrophic Premier League campaign in 1819, when they suffered relegation despite splashing over 115 million euros in the transfer window. Anguissa arrived from Marseille for 25 million euros, becoming the West Londoners' second most expensive signing ever. But he only made 16 league appearances as Fulham was sent crashing back to the Championship. The 22-year-old was loaned out to Villarreal and has more than repaired his reputation. In France, the midfielder was famed for his defensive positioning and he hasn't disappointed in Spain, managing 2.8 blocks and interceptions per 90. But where he has really stood out is in his forward progressions. He has attempted 60 dribbles so far, the fourth best in La Liga, while only Atletico's Thomas Partier can boast a better dribble success rate than his 81%. 
and Geeta has become a destructive presence, capable of breaking forward past the opposition midfield. The Yellow Submarine will no doubt want to hang on to their star player, but with Real Madrid reportedly after his signature, Fulham will be happy to listen to the highest bidder. 6. Rike Puig Rike Puig may have only played 22 minutes of the league action, but if rumours are to be believed, the 20-year-old is set to be the future of the Blaugrana midfield. The young Spaniard has mainly featured for the Barcelona B-side, but has been training with the first team on a regular basis. The club's hierarchy have been nervous to unleash him in the first division, but the success of 17-year-old Ansu Fati, plus the necessity to revamp an ageing squad, means Puj should start to appear more frequently. As a La Masia Academy graduate, he has all the makings of a classic Barcelona midfielder. He stands at just 5'6", yet is a composed passer and carrier of the ball with a touch of attacking flair that has seen him score twice and assist three for the reserves this year. The Blaugrana have come under a lot of stick for not utilising their academy products in recent years, so the 20-year-old could mark a signal of change. However, should he not get the minutes he craves, Celta Vigo are reportedly his desired location for a loan move next season. Either way, Rike Puig is a star we will all know about soon enough. 5. Mark Cucurecha With 11 games to play, Madrid Menos Gaddafi are in touching distance of Champions League football, currently only behind 4th place Real Sociedad on goals scored. Under Jose Bordalas, they have mastered an aggressive style that sees them harass the opposition into mistakes high up the pitch. It may not be pretty, with El Ghetto currently boasting the Liga's worst disciplinary record, but it means they have the fourth best defence, having only conceded 25 times all season. Central to Bordalas' plans is their flying left back Mark Cucurecha. The 21 year old might be the most dribble pass player in the whole of the division, but that's because his all action displays see him bomb endlessly up and down the left flank, with no young fullback in Europe's top five leagues successfully pressurising the opposition more than the Spaniard. He is truly a nightmare to face. While five goal involvements from 2.3 shots and key passes per 90 display his attacking potential too. Cucurecha is on a season-long loan from Barcelona, but Getafe are keen to make the deal permanent. If they can push on and achieve Champions League football, they should get the funds to make that move happen. 4. Mikel Oyarzabal Mikel Oyarzabal has been an integral part of a Real Social attack that has lit up La Liga. Alongside Porto, William Jose, Alexander Isaac and Martin Odegaard, the quintet have scored 45 times, putting the Basque club on course for Champions League football for the first time in seven years. Oyarzabal has been particularly impressive on the left flank. He has scored eight times in the league, and while he doesn't look set to beat his 18-19 tally of 13 goals, he is still taking a career-high 2.1 shots per 90. But it is creatively where the 23-year-old has really improved. With an excellent squad around him, Oyarzabal has registered six assists from 1.3 key passes a game, both the second best returns in his squad after Porto and Odegaard respectively. Oyarzabal's performances have elevated him to the Spanish first team, gaining a further six caps for La Roja in 2019 and even scoring twice in Euro qualifying back in June and November. He may not be the flashiest player around, but his consistent returns make him an invaluable asset and one worth following. 3. Yangel Herrera Manchester City fans should be paying close attention to Granada star Yangel Herrera. The Venezuelan is on loan at the Spanish Minos from the Etihad and has been hugely influential in their unlikely success this season. By November the 1st, the Nazaris were third in the Liga after a stunning start saw them win six and lose just three of their opening 11 games. Since then, they may have dropped a ninth, but it is still very impressive from the newly promoted side. They even reached the Copa del Rey semi-finals, bowing out to Athletic Bilbao on away goals. Herrera has been a dominant figure in the centre of midfield. The 22-year-old averages a brilliant 4.4 tackles and interceptions per game, while he's even managed four goal involvements too. His best moment came in Granada's exceptional 2-0 win over Barcelona back in September, where a man of the match display saw him win all his aerials and complete four tackles against the toughest of opposition. Where Herrera will be next year remains to be seen. His contract with City is set to expire this summer, with no new agreement in sight. But with Fernandinho about to turn 35 and the Venezuelan showing he can mix it with the best, 
Guardiola may reconsider letting him go so easily. 2. Chimi Avila The La Liga shutdown has facilitated the return of Osasuna's star forward, Chimi Avila. By the end of January, he was one of the division's standout performers, scoring nine times and registering two assists. Avila was proving to be an absolute menace to opposition defences, channeling a fighting spirit born on the tough streets of Rosario, Argentina. Despite only standing at 5'6", he was winning 3.1 aerial duels per game, while his tough tackling saw him pick up six yellow cards thanks to 2.3 fouls per match. This may not look pretty, but the Osasuna faithful couldn't get enough of him. Avila's style drew him comparisons to Luis Suarez, and Barcelona clearly thought the same. The Blaugrana reportedly made him their number one target during their infamous hunt for a striker during the early part of 2020, with Avila admitting a deal was close. However, the 26-year-old ruptured a ligament in his knee against Levante, forcing Barca to move for Martin Braithwaite. With Avila injured, Osasuna suffered, losing five of their next seven games. But the former Huesca striker has returned to training, ready to propel his side back up the table. Should he do so, a big move could still be on the cards. 1. Martin Odegaard Martin Odegaard is finally showing the world just how good he really is. Owned by Real Madrid, he enjoyed a decent two and a half year spell on loan in the Netherlands, but has taken his game to a new level while at Real Sociedad this season. Whether it's in midfield or just behind the striker, the now 21 year old has been the conductor of L'Areal's forward threat. No player in the squad can better his 2.4 key passes per game, while his XG chain per 90 of 0.5 means his attacking work is expected to involve him in a goal every other game. He averages more passes of the ball per game than any midfielder or forward in his team, while his creative flair perfectly complements the fantastic and destructive Mikel Moreno at the heart of the pitch. He may only have registered nine goal involvements, but his contribution in the Basque country has been far more significant. The remainder of the season could dictate what happens next for the Norwegian international. Real Sociedad are confident Los Blancos will honour the two-year agreement of his loan. But should he perform well, keep Sociedad in the top four and help lift them the Copa del Rey, Zidane may think twice about losing the starlet for another term. So those are our 10 stars we think you should be watching when La Liga returns in the next couple of weeks. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please like the video. And if you want to see more, then click on screen right now for another EuroFootball daily video. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.